Hey everybody, welcome back to Rogue Tech Cold Forged. Today we're going to take on a simpler mission than last time. We took a crushing defeat last time. We almost lost our Jenner. Uh, however, we lost all the good stuff inside it, which is really, really bad. Um, but we managed to get it reloaded up again. So if we go back to go to the mech base. So rather than the Thunderbolts in this thing, um, we were running short on weight. So we ended up putting in the two medium range missiles that we picked up uh, a few episodes back. Uh, put some heavy Pharaoh in it, but we lost our ultralight gyro. We lost our stealth armor. So yeah, uh, we've only got one upper arm joint left, so the uh, medium missile launchers are actually in the same arm. So we're going to have to shield that right side. Uh, I put Case in this time because it was an ammo explosion that caused problems last time, so Case is protecting the uh, LRMs here in the uh, left torso. So we're going to go and take a mission. Actually, let's check out our barracks because we were out of action there for almost a month repairing stuff. So let's check out our guys here. So we're working on getting... Um, called shot I think on uh, cold metal so we're gonna wait and we're gonna crank that up a little bit yeah. now Hickory um, yeah we're still waiting we don't have much experience for her Commander. pylons doing all right but not that I'm good um, Raider we're just gonna wait I'm not gonna I'm not sure what we're gonna take here on her probably gunnery but we'll see Order. and then recoil uh, we're slowly raising up the uh, tactics but I think I want to go for gunnery on him uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure yet because he's gonna be our recon guy so I may end up going tactician route. Not sure yet, but we'll see. All right, so actually, let's go to the command center here. I've already picked out a mission. We're going to take a uh, hot landing here. Uh, show of force is an escort mission at a half a skull. There's really not much opposition, so we're going to take hot landing. Plus, it takes too long. So we're going to go this route. going to go full out um, salvage on this, and hope we, hopefully we can get some ferro or endo steel or something to regain what we lost. So let's deploy and get this one done. All right, here we go. This should be a little easier. It might face up to eight max here, but I think we'll probably be okay. So we're going to move forward. Now, if you didn't watch the last episode, please feel free to go back and check it out. Um, what ended up happening was uh, Hickory decided to... She was, I thought she was far enough back. She was in the water, um, and she was firing away with her uh, um, uh, Thunderbolts. And she just kind of moved in the water. She only had a couple of chevrons of evasion. And then the main guy that we were fighting was a, um, um, the heck of, yep. uh, what are they called again? Oh my god. Roger. Uses the Panther model. you think I would remember this. Um, oh god, I can't, I can't even remember what it's called. Anyways, uh, I had a large laser, several medium lasers, and a medium X-Pulse. Um, Anyways, it uh, fired, hit with the large, and I think both mediums and part of the X-Pulse all in the leg, in Hickory's leg. She had taken no damage up until that point, and all of the damage went to the same location in the leg, blew up the ammo, and took out her whole side, and then that was the end of her. Basically one shot. It was like, it, I, I was just in shock. Sorry, Wolfhound, that's what it is. <laughs> I, don't know why I, couldn't, I don't know why I couldn't think of the name. But uh, yeah, it uh, did some serious damage. But we ended up killing it before it got away, and then we had to withdraw. But if you haven't seen the episode, go check it out. We were facing uh, nine max at well, eight max in a vehicle, so it was a tough. It was a tough battle. They had a couple mediums as well, so. But they were getting very. I gotta say, they were very accurate with their shots. Um, they were hitting me hard, so. I'm gonna reserve here. Holding for the right opportunity. Okay, these guys aren't moving. I think there's reinforcements coming. Commander. Something just just feels like reinforcements coming. That's why I like moving this side. Because if reinforcements come, they usually come from up here. So it's yeah. better to move along this side. Get down behind the hill so they can't get a direct line of sight on you. So they can't flank you. Take these guys out and then deal with the rest of them. Order. That's normally what I do. I mean, it really depends, too. Like, if you've got heavy, strong mechs and you know you're not going to be fighting hard opposition, then uh, you can go about it differently. But when I'm not, up, when I don't know what I'm, what I'm up against here, plus I've got, like, mechs that aren't kind of, like, heavy hitters, I want to make sure I'm minimizing the amount of in incoming damage. So 
what do we got? Two vehicles, two mechs. So it is a half skull mission, so this might be it. We'll see what happens. Wouldn't it be hilarious if they, were, if they are all actually heavy mechs? Well, they're all medium. You know, I, I should just not open my mouth. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. Now, they got reinforcements. They got reinforcements. So we're going to reserve, see what they do. By. Yeah, they're going to do the same thing. Alright, Pylon, you're up. Ready for orders. You got the armor. Can we see any of these guys? Can. Do I want to, though? Yeah, let's see what we're up against Understood. here. Moving fast. Heads up, yeah, I know. Wolverine, 1R. Okay, it's got... This is like an old one? Primitive armor. Primitive engine. Okay. Let's fire everything on this guy. Roger. We definitely need a TTS on this guy. We got company. Oh, well. That's probably a Jenner with uh, Thunderbolts. We might be able to get a Thunderbolt 10. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. What can I do you for? What can you do me for? Let's get, uh, yeah, we can't even get in here to fire. 17%, not good enough for me. Uh, let's just sprint it up. Let's get close. Hunchback, yikes. So there's our first target. Uh, that's a lot of rockets. Damage is light. He's got an MRM-40. Are you kidding me? Well, there's something you don't see every day. Light engine, too. Endo steel. This guy's got a lot of good stuff in him. This is a half-skull mission, guys. Uh, we need to punish him. Let's see what this loadout looks like. Let's fire on this guy. Okay, I'm on it. Yeah, that was pretty lousy. Yeah, we gotta keep him up the front. Okay, so... Yes, come in. Lots of sprinting. Roger Gonna that. shoot this guy in the side. Please. Okay, not bad. Oh, good, we got a head hit on him. Nice, so if we knock him down, if we blow his torso off and knock him down, we can kill him. I want to see what these vehicles are. I want to get on them as fast as possible, too, I think. Ah, uh, we still can't see him. If they stay out in the open, it's a good target for the MRMs. Yeah, I see that. Okay, so, Hickory, I want to get you yeah. moving first. Let's move over here. Roger. See if we can trash this vehicle. Tiger. Figures. 75. Heavy machine gun array. That's a lot of armor. Uh, way better chances to hit, though. So let's fire on this guy. Not anywhere near enough. Ah, oh, weakened him a little bit. We can probably get uh, Firefly on him now. Good luck hitting the Phoenix Hawk. Well, I think we need to kill that um, Hunchback from behind, though. Let's get in here. I'm gonna fire straight in this guy's front. Well, getting closer anyway. Okay.
Not bad. Waiting for orders. Now, if we sprint, let's get on this side. I want to see where I'm looking at over here. Uh, if we sprint down here. That's a lot of evasion. That's in the woods too, though. Like, if we stay out of the well, I think we need to be in the woods if we're going to... Well, it won't matter, though, if they're shooting us in the back. So this is a back shot here, too. So if I move here... Let's do that. On my way. So there's four of those guys. That's five chevrons of evasion. It's not bad. We're going to shoot this guy in the back. Because these generally have... Oh, he's got pretty good back armor. Normally, these they have low back armor. All right, we got started on him anyway. Let's see what he does here. Yeah, he knows who the he knows who the real target is. So I need to move fast. I don't think MRMs have got a medium or a uh, minimum distance. I know the dead fire ammo doesn't. Yeah, we're just gonna walk right into here. Let's give this guy a how do you do. You got more missiles, I did more damage. did. I know. Okay. The debt. Alright, so let's have a look at how much armor this Bidet has. I think we might be able to take both these vehicles this turn. Mm, I don't know about that. Thunderbolt coming in. Even if we step on it, I don't think we got the juice to kill it. If we step on it, 75 at the back, 67 at the sides, 75 at the top and front. AC2 plus light machine gun. It's still going to plink plink us to death if we don't watch out. So let's move the Firefly first, because he's just taking a back shot. Uh, let's get him... I mean, we could just fire first and then move. Let's fire on this guy first. Come on! Yeah, but you didn't get the right spot, my friend. I gotta shoot at him again now. Move into there. Nice. Okay, Hickory. What do you need? That's a pretty good chance from the back. How much back armor does this guy have? He's almost got no head armor left either. Not a lot of back armor. Two rocket launchers are gone. So he's got a medium rif rifle and medium laser. I think I need to... Well, I can't split fire with this with her. It's got to be all or nothing on somebody. Sixty percent. This guy's in the woods. Hmm. This is a tough choice. I almost want to shoot this hunchback. 
but he really hasn't taken any significant back damage. Although the rest of us could shoot him in the back this turn. Maybe we try that. Let's unload on this guy's back. See what we get. Okay. That's the arm almost gone. Yeah, a little more in the back. That's not bad. Okay, that's one of those old 8T Panthers. Alright, pylon. Yes, Commander. Yeah. Copy that. Let's get over here. And we're gonna shoot on this guy's back. Giving him everything I've got. Get the arm. Okay, medium laser crit. Solid connection. Unstable. On so he's gonna have to go first. Yeah, he's gonna move. There's nowhere he can really go that I can't get behind him. Yeah, I can't have this guy on the field anymore. Obscuring paint, that figures. So I'm going to loop behind him. I know I'm exposing my back to the vehicles, but I can't have this guy around anymore. I know it's bad chances to hit too, but we gotta do this. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Okay. So what we're gonna do next turn is we're gonna push him back. Yeah, I know. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. There isn't really any place that guy can go that he's not going to die. I think he just blocked a shot for this guy, too. Yeah, he did. Okay, so as long as we keep the fight up here in the trees, I think those guys are pretty much out of the battle for now. We should be able to kill this tank this turn, and we might get the hunchback. So here's what I want to do. I want to get... We don't have multi-target on him, but we have move and shoot. So I want to move in. How much has this guy got back for back armor now? One point on the one side. We're going to lose that uh, MRM if we hit him, but it's definitely worth the shot. We need to make sure we don't get our back armor exposed by any of these guys. I'm going to move into here. We're going to shoot straight in this guy's back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wrong side. That's a critical hit. Oh wait, does that mean he has no ammo left? Oh, probably for the fluid gun. Uh, Hickory, what's more important? Hunchback. We're gonna walk it up here. Copy that. Give us the best chance to hit. I'm not going to push him back. I'm just going to unload. We're going to turn off the small. Actually, we're going to turn off one of the mediums and I guess the small. Fire everything else. We need to get some better heat sinking in this guy. Should be able to get that torso with this many missiles. Yeah, there we go. Tango down. So hopefully we can get some good salvage out of that. Not sure what we'll get, but uh, we might get something out of that. Hoping for endo steel or something along that line. So the rest of their lights are going to move. Alright, so I need to move Cold Metal first since he's got his back to everybody here. And we're going to move into here. We're going to multi-target both vehicles. And I should be able to finish up the one. And we'll see what we get on the other. So I'm going to use the LRM-10 on a... Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with Medium Laser and LRM-10 on A. And then... LRM-15 and, and the light rifle on B, so let's do that. It's the damage side, so we should be able to blow him up. There we go. Killed the engine. Okay, nice. That hit. I was actually shocked that that hit. Okay, he's got damage reduction, but um, we might be able to get in to squash him. 
And then this guy is going to be in a lot of trouble because we're going to just surround him and kill him. Wolverine can still be deadly. Yeah, this guy's got not much left on the one side. So let's bring the pylon around. Let's go for a squash. I think we should probably be able to do that. It's probably going to be more reliable than firing the medium lasers, I think. Especially since this guy's in the trees. Putting my weight into it. Okay, there we go. So they lose three this turn. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Excellent. So now we should be able to finish this Wolverine up. I think back attacks are going to be the way to go. So we're going to use the Firefly to push him back a turn, and then everybody else is going to attack him. Okay, recoil. Let's get back here. Where can we see him at? Here? Sure. Just going to walk it back. Offensive pushing this guy. Gonna try for a headshot. We might get lucky. You never know, right? Okay. Come on. Doesn't really matter. We pushed him back a turn, so that's good. I'd like to get Wolverine parts, but I'm not so com concerned about the components on the inside. It's okay, Hickory. What do you need? We're gonna back it up slightly to here. I'm just gonna get in the trees. We're gonna do another cold shot in this guy. Our offensive push. We're going to try for another headshot. And we're just going to unload with the medium range missiles. We're going to save a little bit of heat here. Don't think we'll get lucky enough to get a head hit, but I'm going to give it a shot, see what happens. Maybe we don't do a back attack on this guy. He's only got one pilot wound, am I right? Yeah, not much in the head. His arm's almost gone. Left leg. Oh, we might be able to take the leg. Receiving you. Uh, let's get Pylon. We're going to walk it to here, I think. That's a front shot, though. I'm going to try and get a side shot on this guy. Location confirmed. Take the arm, maybe the torso, if we can get a torso, sh torso down and then knock him over. Or blow a leg off, one or the other. Okay, it's not going to happen this turn, though, I don't think. Those guys are a little bit late coming up here to help out. Not much they can do now. Alright, we're going to unload on this guy. Okay, we got the arm anyway. Making him a little unstable. Let's find out what he does. He may decide to try and run. Okay. I'm wondering if that's a that's a catapult. That's a thermal thermal bolt catapult. Well, he is staying around. Kudos to you, buddy. You're still gonna die, but kudos to you. All right, recoil. Let's push him back a turn. This is gonna be a, the last offensive push we do. Let's fire in the leg. Hit anything, please. <laughs> I don't really care what it is. Just hit something. Yeah, we still got some good resolve, though. Alright, Hickory, let's get... I don't think we're going to go there. Let's move back here. I'll do what I can. And we're just going to use the medium laser, or the... Uh, Medium range missiles again. Okay, we got good instability. Maybe we can take the torso and knock him down. So I'm going to get... I think we're going to get... Um, ooh. wonder if that's an urban mech. That's a lot of damage. Uh, let's get a melee attack on this side of him. See if we can take the torso and then knock him down. I'm hiding in a bush here. Okay, there's the left torso for a pilot injury. Oh, he passed the stability check, eh? See if he passed this stability check. 
Oh, you missed. Dang. I should have shot him. I didn't want to blow him up, though. I want to get as many parts from this guy as I can. Yep, I deserve that. Totally deserve that. Do they have two heavy mechs? That might be two heavy mechs back there. A th it looks, no, heavy and a medium. So this guy's technically the medium. So it's three lights and heavy back there. Okay. Hickory. Yeah. Let's just move over one. Let's, move. Let's unload on this guy and make him unstable. I don't know why I'm mucking around with this guy. I should just kill him. Crying out loud. So that's probably a um, commander with the auto cannon. So let's get recoil up here. I'm gonna plink this guy. If we kill him, we kill him. If we knock him down, we knock him down. It's gonna be what it is. There's the knockdown. And he's out cold. Excellent. So we maximize the salvage on that guy. Now we got a lot, fair bit of catapult parts. I think we got four catapult parts sitting in the bay. I want to grind that guy once he gets up here. So this is, that's that panther. Right, I forgot that that was the panther. Fluid gun and a heavy rifle. So we're going to walk down to this guy and say hello. Let's give him the good news. That's what you call shredding a mech. Okay, pylon. Commander. Let's just walk it up. Gonna go for a headshot, see what we got here. Well, two fusion core crits. Think I hit something good. I'm shocked the guy's not bailing out. Okay, he's like a catapult. He can't see anybody now, so. All right, recoil. Let's finish this guy up. Aye, aye. Let's not let him stand up. Let's shoot for the head again. If we get lucky. Nah, I think he's toast. Yeah. One less time. Let's finish up these lights. Sure ain't no wolf found, that's for sure. Still can't get over that. That guy was so accurate in shooting. Even in my other series, the uh, yeah. Funky Cole Medinas, I had one of those guys too, and they were just so accurate. But I have a Jager mech in that series too, right? So it's like, I can take a fair bit of damage. But still, that guy was, the, he was ridiculously accurate. There's the 1C. I think there's a second one back there too. Alright, let's, gonna, we're going to reserve. Ah, we're not going to reserve because that guy's going to fire missiles. So we got to take these guys out. So let's move into here. We might be able to kill this guy or at least put him on his ass. Ah, not bad. Didn't knock him down, though. What do you need? That's a shock. We will now, though. On it. We got the heat, so let's let's open up with everything. Yeah, that's that guy gone. Yeah, I'm not liking these medium range missiles compared to the thunderbolts. The thunderbolts were a little more accurate, but they did pinpoint damage too, right? So it's a little better. Let's reserve. See what he does. Alright, Pylon. Good to go. Let's see what we're up against. I pretty much know what we are up against, but we're gonna move in. Let's get into the trees here. Yeah, there's that catapult. And a Commando 1C. So, what do we got here? 37%. Yeah, that's the target right there. So, let's do an offensive push. I'm gonna try for leg shots on this guy. I'll try and maximize salvage again. Yeah, we're going to shoot him everywhere but the leg. That's good. That's why I want to get that called shot bonus. Okay, we're going to shred this commando in a second. He's making a break for it. It's not going to help you, buddy. 
All right, uh, uh, let's reserve. All right, let's move forward. This guy's not going to survive much. So let's do an offensive push. We're going to go for the leg again. Actually, maybe we should just start going for the head. I mean, what's the chance they hit the leg? 60% from this side. Well, okay, let's go for the leg shot. And then, you know, hit him in the arm and whatever else. Okay, how do we get to expose the structure on him, I think. We did. So let's get Hickory to a position where she can see him. Can you see him from up here? Can we, where can we see him from? What? Right here. Confirmed. All right, offensive push. Gonna go for the leg. We're gonna leave the small laser off. It's not really doing much for us. Just gonna save that heat. Okay, one, one medium laser hit. The leg, it looked like. He's unsteady now. Let's get recoil down there. Can you get in to see him, though? No, really? Oh, up here. Okay. I'll put the pedal down. Offensive push. Leg again. Target confirmed. Oh, there's the leg hit. Right leg destroyed. Nice. Now we can target the left. Two or three. Receiving you. He's not really going to hit anything when he gets up, but still want to move. Going to go after this leg now. Or we could just shoot him right in the groin. That 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 works too. I mean, let's completely blow him up. Pylon, man, come on. I know you got minus one accuracy weapons, but that's really bad. We need to get you a TTS, man, plus three. All right, let's see what their guys do here. We're going to reserve. I want to see what their commando's going to do. I may have to shred him with the uh, Centurion. I'm taking a bit of dip back damage on a, on a couple of our mechs, so I don't want to, yeah. I don't want to get it to a point where they can get around behind us and just start destroying components. Okay, so let's shred that guy. Let's get into here. Do a bit of shredding. Ah, not bad. Yeah, did okay. I need you to shred this guy too. Please and thank you. Fire everything. How did that taste? I'm sure it didn't taste very good. Okay, let's get down here. Gonna target this guy again. Try for this other leg. Oh my god. Don't hit that center torso, please. Okay, a couple good leg hits. What are we at here? 35, alright, recoil. Can we get on this side of you? We can't get on that side. So let's finish, see if we can finish up the uh, commando here. Let's get down here. And we'll fire everything on this guy. You know, with a 94% chance and you still miss with two, really? Really? Okay, we should be able to finish him up next turn. I'm just interested to see what this guy does now. Alright, it's a miss. Okay, so we just need 35 damage in the leg. So I want to get... That's a, that's a still a side hit. Let's get the Firefly over here. 78 still in the center torso. Okay, so that's good. So we're going to fire here. 60% chance to hit. Let's leave a couple of the small lasers off. I don't want to blow too much of it up, but let's just do this. Okay, that should be it. There it is. Both legs gone. Nice. Maximize salvage. That's the Thunderbolt and the uh, Thermobolt as well if you we want them. Let's finish this guy up. We don't need anything off this guy. There it is, folks. This is going to be it. All right. Excellent. Well, that was a far better mission than the last one, that's for sure. Mission. All right. We only made 19,000, which isn't that bad. 
Uh, we did take a little bit of back damage on the uh, Firefly, but we don't get any internal component damage, which is great. And I think the rest of the guys managed to get through this all right. So let's have a look what we got in salvage here. Lots of catapult parts, excellent. So I'm hoping we get some of those. Lots of hunchback parts. Wolverine parts, excellent. Okay, so let's have a look what we can take here. Heavy machine gun arrays. We picked up one of these already. Uh, Thermobolt and Thunderbolts. We've got a couple of each, I think, right now. But I want to find, yes, things like Endosteel. Um, these big fusion cores would be nice if we need... I mean, we can sell them for cash. Double heat sink's nice. Yeah, so I'm thinking Endosteel. Uh, and I'm thinking the two fusion cores. I mean, as, much, as nice as these are, right now we don't have any use for them. And since we're still encountering catapults, we can still easily pick these up as we're going. Machine gun arrays, hmm. I mean, it is nice, but they are point-blank range weapons. You really got to be in close for these things to work. Heat is 25, too, so I don't know. I think I want to go for the money. Uh, we're going to go that route and then see what else we get here. Okay, we did get a catapult part. Nice. We got five now. That's excellent. We got one hunchback part and one, two, three, four wolverine parts. Awesome. And yeah, double load ammo. Not bad. Okay, so we made it okay. All right, 36,000 in repairs. Not too bad. So overall, we did okay. We didn't. We lost a little bit of cash, but not much. Repair times are actually, you know, pretty reasonable overall. It's really eight days in total. So we could pull another mission off on this planet before we leave. Um, I know Phoenix Hawk says 13 days is really only going to be like six or something. So we've got enough. What do we have left contract-wise here? Is there anything we can take? Supply lines. It's a battle. I mean, two of nine. Not really that much. I'd like to take one skull missions if I could, but I can't right here. So let's have a look at the navigation screen to see where we can travel to within short period of time. So we're making our way toward clan space here. Uh, let's start moving. That's 15 days. 12 days. That's not bad. 11. That's even better. 12. A little farther along there. Hmm. That's 11. 16. So let's go here. Jamagard. Jomgardi? Jomegardi? Well, <laughs> I don't even know. It's got manufacturing, mega city, pirate presence, recreation, it's rich planet, intersphere level civilization, hallucinatory vegetation, it's always a win. So we're going to head there as we're repairing our mechs. Let's set our course. So when we get there, we'll sell our engines in the store and we'll see if we can pick up anything while we're there. Just to augment the rest of our mechs. Nice to be able to find some more bonus accuracy medium lasers. We're really suffering on that. Two days left for Centurion. So now that we have the Endo Steel, I think we're going to drop that into the Firefly. Or, sorry, into the uh, Jenner. Not really happy with the medium range missiles, so maybe we, depending on how much that Endo Steel gives us weight wise, we may want to look at putting that uh, Thunderbolt, um, the bigger Thunderbolt in. Um, three days. Let's go to the mech bay real quick before we get there. Let's have a look at, um, yeah, who, okay, you got endosteel, you've got endosteel, you've got endosteel, so it's just the gender that doesn't. So, <sighs> weight wise, it's only giving us one and a half tons. Really not enough to really do anything amazing. I mean, we could pull out the small laser, put another medium in, and then put another heat sink in, or we could put an exchanger in. So let's do that. Let's take out the small laser. Let's grab another medium, which we have lots of. Put that in the center torso. And then we will grab a an exchanger, drop it in here. What are we at here heat-wise? Yeah, pretty good. So we're going to do that, I think. That's going to help out a little bit. 
a little bit more firepower, a little bit more heat uh, dissipation. Let's confirm that. It's only a couple of days. All right, that's going to help out. All right, back in the schedule. Let's see what's in the store here. And then we'll end this episode. Oh, moon planet. Lovely. So let's visit the store. we got a couple of... And we'll have a look at these in a second. Let's sell the cores and then see how much money we have to buy stuff with. So I don't know if we need these AC-10s or anything. Light rifle we're not going to use. Let's just sell that. Um... Yeah, see, we got two Thunderbolt 15s and a Thunderbolt 10 and one Thermobolt 15, so we're still okay with those. So these are the big cores that we got here, the 260 and the 265. So let's sell both of these guys. We got a little bit of cash. Let's have a look here in the store and see what we got. Oh, yeah, we're already in the store. Durr. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Yeah, I got Mac pork combined parts. We're not going to buy Mac parts. Case 2C. Reduces damage to only three points. Requires clan armor, though. Okay. That's not going to help. Um, nothing. There is nothing of value here. AC-20 precision ammo. Um, is there other precision ammo here? AC-5 precision. Can't really use any of that, though. Half loads of LRM ammo. Um, yeah. SRM Artemis. Wish I could send this over to my other guy. He needs this. Alright, so that's probably going to be it for today. There's nothing really in there that we want. So we're going to end the episode here. Well, next time when we come back, we're going to have a look at uh, what kind of contracts. We're going to raise up our mech warriors and skill. Um, take a few more missions. Um, yeah, we're moving along in mech parts now. We've got a few heavy and a few medium mech parts, so ho hoping we encounter a few more Wolverines and a few more catapults. Uh, it'd be nice to have a catapult and a Wolverine to, uh, to uh, um, run. It'd be nice to have both of those Thunderbolt 15s dropped into a catapult. That'd be cool. So, all right, so um, if you haven't seen my other series, um, the Rogue Tech series, Funky, uh, Funky Steve's Medinas, is on my channel. Uh, it's kind of more of a pirate series, and my... my uh, Battletech um, Flashpoint series, the 900. That's also on my channel. Go check those out. And until next time, we'll see you all later.